Alright guys, today I have a drill pick dojo gameplay for you guys. I'm gonna try to expand you my thought process during the game when I play uh, dojo with drill pick. In general, I think when you guys play dojo with Fraser Claw, when you play jungle, I really like to just use quick attack and then the boosted auto attack from the sprint coach to activate the Razor Claw. And then you use peak to activate another Razor Claw. If you um, if you use quick attack and peak at the same time, you don't have uh, two Razor Claws. So keep that in mind when you play Dojo in the jungle because just activating two Razor Claws is just more damage for free, right? So yeah. What I always do is I charge by Spin Gorge, quick attack, auto attack, Razor Claw pop, and peak Razor Claw pop. And usually when I go for, an, like, for a, a gank, I look what lane can I gank, where can I get my stacks. And probably in this lane it's just a comfy. Because if, the, if I push the enemies inside my team, we can get a double kill since it's like comfy, right? Oh, nice eject button. Right. Usually I like to take the speed berry because you are super fast. And you do it and then you can just uh, drill pack and then just catch him off guard. Plus the comfy with the slow smoke. It's so disgusting. Like, don't you comfy? I think just in general, like comfy is so broken with Lafras, with Zacian, with Dojo. So probably that's why um, Lafras is just so good with comfy. But on this layer, just in general, Lafras is broken. So you go for a little bit of stacking. You have two options when you play Dojo in the jungle. You can take your jungle and just play slow and get level 9, or you invade the enemy jungler, which is, I think, a better option since he doesn't have red buff anymore since he died. And just in general, like, Dojo has a really um, high kill pressure because Drill Pick does so much damage. I think they need to nerf this Pokemon. That's a bit too much damage. But yeah, like, your power spikes are level 5 earlier, level 7 uh, jump kick, and then you go for level 9. Surprisingly, I think when you get level 9, I don't think it's, like, the biggest power spike. I think when you get level 11, you are actually really, really strong with Drill Pick because you can heal yourself, which is really cool. Just in general, like, Dojo is like a speedster that can heal himself with abilities, which makes the speedster roll so much better. I think um, Cut from Zoroark is pretty interesting as well, because you can heal yourself, but like speedsters that don't have like lifesteal are pretty bad to play because they are squishy and they die easily. But like Dojo is just disgusting. You can heal himself, can play whatever he wants. I'm gonna break the point because I'm gonna play around their side. If you are confident enough playing on the enemy side, um, and it's really good because you get so much value just by killing them and taking their farm. I usually, like, when I play Dojo, I don't really go for objectives. Like, which is weird because usually when you play jungle, you go for level 9 and go for objectives. But I don't think, like, you get as much value of just creating chaos in the game. Two people were top lane, so you can, like, expect the bot lane to kind of go evenish. Because I also invaded the enemy jungler, so he won't get level 9. I'm gonna die here. This is the godly special, guys. <laughs> Don't go too far when you play Dojo, though. Or oh, Lapras? Honestly, like, Lapras is so disgusting. This ultimate does way too much damage. Okay, now you just take your jungle again, and you just play chill. Like, you're level 10, and you have 3 stacks. I think my issue is when I play Dojo jungle, uh, what well, other Dojo score for jungle? Like, for like, stacking and jungle? I really greet for stacks and kids. I don't know. I really like to press, like have map pressure. And that's why I really like to play Greedent. Because I, I feel like Doji is just a better Greedent at this point. That's why I didn't really prioritize Doji. I mean, like Greedent as much anymore. I'm sorry, like, this is the truth, guys. Doji is the better, better squirrel. I remember when Doji came out and when people said, Dojo is green uh, with three heads. <laughs> That's our cast image. So just in general, like you drill pack, auto like ultimate, auto attack, drill pack again. And then you like you just short your spin cord. You get so much movement speed from this ultimate, which is so disgusting. And you get a damage boost as well. Like <laughs> Dojo is one of the best speedsters in this game. That's why I think it's just really good in drafting as well. Team is also playing pretty well. Honestly, I think Chandler Lee is like kind of countering too. Like Poltergeist like makes me slow and then um, I can't charge my spin coach. 
And Comfy is also really annoying when you play Drill Pack. Thank you, thank you, Rinse. Appreciate it. Yeah, this is a good game, especially because we have a Lapras and the Comfy. Like, this combination with Dodri is just so disgusting. And, like, when you when you play Dodri, like, you use Auto Attack, Jump Kick, and then Drill Pack. And then, you, like, you, like, you repeat this same comp to reach the enemies. Because if you... If you don't use, I mean, I mean, missing everything. <laughs> if you don't repeat it, like, you won't reach the enemies. You can only kind of use drill pack only when the enemies face check bushes. If they face check the bus, you can use drill pack, jump kick, auto attack. But, just in general, I like to use auto attack, jump kick, drill pack. <laughs> Thanks for the gifted guys. Appreciate it. I get the throttling objective. I even do it in the spotting objective um, when I play Dojo. Auto attack, jump kick, drill pack. And keep going. In this game, I'm not playing with emblems. In general, um, I don't like to play with emblems when I play with Dojo. But um, in the beginning of the video, I'm going to show you the emblem pages that you could run with Dojo. I think in general, emblems are really OP with Dojo. But because I'm a competitive player, um, like professionally, I don't play with emblems because it's not allowed in tournaments. Which is honestly pretty sad. Because it would make the game so much more interesting, but it would make the game also so much more broken. Because I do think Dojo is one of these Pokemon where you have seven black emblems, it's super disgusting. So yeah, like you just keep farming. Also when you play solo queue like that, people are just not farming. They like to dive with like stuff like this. Like in tournaments, you will never see this stuff because, <laughs> like, like there's no value uh, killing them there. Like they are already high level. It's just like you want to kill them for fun, and then you can potentially just give the XP to the enemies. But surprisingly, like it happens in tournaments as well. This is where I think you need to set your limit because if you set your limit um, and to not play aggressive, then you get better eventually. Because, for example, when I play Dojo, I play like a psychopath. I play aggressive all the time. Now you can just take, like, no one really cares in solo queue. And when you play, like, jump kick, you just play around the balls. I think Zoroark is, like, a good counter to Dojo, honestly. But actually, like, it's really annoying to play against a Zoroark when you play Dojo. It's quite annoying, especially when you play Shadow Claw. You just keep farming, scoring, and chilling. So, like for the positioning in the late game, I think in general, depending on the enemy team composition, you can take different kinds of positioning. Like my favorite position is to camp in the spot um, where the Zoroark is, and I almost get, I almost get me uh, to catch the people when they run into the bush. But I also like to go bot lane side or like middle. And that's where I think like Dojo is pretty cool. Or like just speeds us in general. While the attackers uh, have like these kind of positions where you expect them to be, the speed stars like disappear from the map and uh, punish enemies by flipping the objective. Usually mages are taking top lane side position, so you wanna catch them there. Where's the scandal? I'm gonna like, focus the chandelier first. Oh! I can't see anything! He's joking me! He's a gamer! <laughs> you can also jump over this wall, which is pretty cool. Okay, where's the Zodowag? This game is so weird, like, this game is so weird. What is this team fight? Everyone is doing something else. <laughs> but yeah, usually you focus the, like, squishy Pokemon, right? And then you go for the defenders. I think in general, like, defenders are pretty good against Dojo. Because Dojo can't one-shot them. And that's where I think like Dojo is pretty cool because you can um, change your build depending on the enemy team composition. I think in general I think Dojo is just a bit too broken. It does way too much damage. Like you, legit, you can just one shot anything with your ultimate. So yeah, either you fight for the objective or you fight uh, for scoring. That's where uh, Dojo is pretty cool because you can just score. <laughs> What is this Lothar doing? He's angry. 
Guys, I hope you enjoyed this small dojo tutorial. I didn't really explain much, I just explained my thought process. But yeah, just focusing on um, getting your power specs level 5, 7, 9, 11, and 13. Like it's weird because dojo has like a lot of things you wanna aim for. You wanna aim for level 5, you wanna aim for level 7, then you wanna aim for level 9, level 11, and 13. So basically, just aiming for these levels make you play less aggressive and just keep farming. If you keep being aggressive and you don't know what you do, just take the farm honestly, like you don't need to do anything. Make plays, but after you make plays, now you limit. Can you invade? Can you not invade? That's a pretty good game. I was playing with my friend Human, he was the Trevenant, shoutouts to him, watching kills. And as you can see I didn't do as much damage, but I also didn't tank as much. I told you the tanks over uh, 60k damage, you can see that he's super aggressive and he's not playing for just playing safe and farming. So yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video.